morning, Jeff Light here with our daily look behind the news from the UT Newsroom. This morning we're speaking with sports editor Jay Posner. Jay, uh, the, the Padre is trading uh, again. Correct. And, uh, well, g g give me the details and your take on this, which uh, seem pretty positive. Actually. Well, the, the Padres are in the position now, as we've written many times, where they're acquiring assets for the future. As I also mentioned, at some point... Is the future these, ever going to come? Right, the future <laughs> has to come one of these days. This, this player they acquired today... Roberto Mejia is a catcher. They already have a catcher, which right. we'll get to in a, in a minute. Okay. But they, they traded Brad Hand, who's been their all-star closer the last two years. I do like that they, at least they waited until after the all-star game. Right. Uh, Manny Machado also. The <laughs> Orioles waited so these guys could be in the game. Uh, especially someone like both guys got traded to other leagues, so they wouldn't have been able to play. Uh, they also traded Adam Simber, who was a rookie who had done well right. this season. But they don't really have a need... Winning and losing, it sounds so silly, but winning and losing a couple extra games this year isn't a big deal. The idea is they're building towards something a couple years from now. Mejia is a 22-year-old catcher. If they could combine him with Austin Hedges, they would have the greatest catcher what? probably ever. <laughs> Hedges is great defensively, has not been able to hit. Mejia apparently is not as good defensively, much better hitter. Uh, we haven't heard from the Padres yet. A.J. Preller is supposed to speak a little later today mm -hmm. exactly what their plans are. The word now is they're going to use Mejia as a catcher. What that means for Hedges, mm. we don't know. Maybe He's been... another deal in the offense. Exactly. There's always, teams always need catchers. The Padres have another minor league catcher who's supposed to be pretty good. But this is all part of their big, big plan to build for a couple of years from now, taking assets guy like Brad Hand was plucked off the waiver wire. Uh, Adam Simber was a guy who had never been in mm. the big leagues, taking two assets, turning them into a younger, cheaper okay. asset, and then building this super prospect team for 2020, maybe? Yeah, so before we uh, uh, got in front of the camera mm -hmm. here, you heard me in uh, my pretty uninformed way <laughs> beginning to express a little doubt, like, man, is this – are these – is this really working? Uh, but you gave me some pretty interesting information. Well, I think it's working in the sense of they are acquiring players that young players that people who judge this stuff for a living are very high on. Uh, Mejia, ESPN's Keith Law just came out this morning with his top 50 mm -hmm. minor league prospects. Um, Fernando Tatis of the Padres is number one. Mm. He was acquired in a trade similar to this. Uh, number five is Roberto Mejia. Number six is Mackenzie Gore, who was the Padres' number one draft pick a year ago. And they have three more guys in the top 50, uh, a couple of uh, international signings, including Luis Urias, a second baseman who we should see up here shortly. Chris Paddock, who is a minor league pitcher now with San Antonio, same kind of deal. Fernando Rodney was here. They traded Fernando Rodney for Chris Paddock, people very high on him. They also have the number 51 prospect, so I huh. guess technically they have seven of the top 51. So. Gathering a lot of prospects, but as we said, at some point, prospects have to win in San Diego, and you know I think that's still a wow. couple years away. Wow, super interesting. Okay, uh, uh, I, I think that's it for now because we've got to go see what the team actually has to say. Right, and we'll have much more on this uh, around lunchtime. People will be able to check for an updated story, and we'll have obviously much more as the day goes on. Uh, and we also have our top 20. Union Tribune minor league Padre prospects coming today, which now, as Jeff Sanders said, I guess I got to go do some updating. I guess so. Okay, well done. Uh, uh, with that, uh, jump on the comment string if you've got something to say about the Padres trade. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Really good. Uh, he looked sharp. Stuff was really coming out of his hand well. Curveball looked really good. Uh, I think we'll expect to send him out for a rehab assignment here and uh, hopefully Thursday, uh, last day of the break, and get him pitching. and. Uh, we'll evaluate how that one goes and maybe one more after that, maybe not. just kind of depends on where he's at, but uh, I think we're going to look at like three innings, 45 pitches, something around that vicinity. I wouldn't expect more than two, uh, but one or two is what I would expect based on how he feels, how he looks, how he's moving, how he responds to it. But uh, very encouraging based on uh, coming out of the game that day in uh, San Francisco. Very encouraging to see him out there today. I think he's made a physical adjustment. Uh, he's definitely down more in his legs than he was earlier in the season. Uh, just more grounded. Had some success because of that. I think too, uh, just kind of great mental frame of mind right now. Just came back with the intent to enjoy playing baseball. And uh, joy carries people a lot. Uh, if you're not beat down by performance, you're just enjoying what you're doing, uh, you tend to play better. And I, I think we've seen that show up in him. And that's been for me, is uh, one of the best things I've seen all year is you want to see your guys 
loving what they get the chance to do because you dreamt your whole life of playing on this stage and then a lot of guys get here and put so much pressure on themselves it becomes hard but he's really enjoyed himself and uh, you can see it coming off the field and you can see it in his energy uh, his passion for his pitcher and uh, his grind in the batter's box has been great we've always said when an inning gets tough, uh, the ability to slow the game down. That doesn't mean necessarily stepping off the mound and pausing and taking time, but uh, not getting quick with your delivery, uh, understanding what you're trying to do. Basically, it just still comes down to being a professional pitch maker and executing pitches. Uh, when it goes fast for him, uh, his execution suffers a little bit. So uh, avoiding those big innings is always big for him. But uh, he's, uh, I still like the change up very much last time, the first time in Oakland, it was very, very good. We always talked about going into spring training is uh, our desire to help cultivate a usable third pitch, a consistent third pitch. And uh, going into the season, we weren't able to necessarily find that in spring. So when he went down, uh, that was one of the things that he was definitely working on. And uh, that's been probably the most encouraging part of his time down in the minor leagues.